Now, let's try number 40 here. And this time, let's solve this system of equations by using the uh, addition method. And what we want to do here is to either find a least common multiple for the x's or the y's so that when we multiply things out we'll either get rid of x's or y's and we can add the other one uh, the, the equations together and find out the other variable well let's just for no particular reason let's choose to eliminate the x's and so to do that we'll, we have our first x term is just a single one x the other term is a negative six x our least common multiple would be 6. So let's multiply the first equation by 6 to give us the 6x we need. The second equation already has a negative 6x, so we're good to go there. Now, when we multiply the first equation through by 6, we're going to get 6x plus 18y is equal to 66. Notice we did multiply everything every term on both sides of that first equation by 6. Now the second equation doesn't need any changing so we'll just copy it over again very carefully. Now let's add those two equations together. 6x plus negative 6x is 0 so that's gone. 18y plus 2y is 20y and 66 plus negative 6 is positive 60. Then when we divide both sides of the equation by 20, we're going to find out that the y coordinate of the point where these two lines intersect is 3. So y is 3. Now, let's go back up to the original equations. And let's go with the first equation here. Replace y with 3 and see what we're going to get for x. So we're going to solve the equation x plus 3y, so it's going to be 3 times 3, is equal to 11. Well, 3 times 3 is 9. And then, of course, 2 plus 9 is what gives us 11. So the x-coordinate is 2. Write your answer as an ordered pair. Always put x first and y second. And so our ordered pair solution is 2 comma 3. And then, of course, you want to go back up to the two original equations replace x with 2 and y with 3 to make sure you get something that that's true in both cases. We don't have time to do that here, so that I'll leave that up to you. Number 42 asks us to solve this, this system of equations by, again, the addition method. So let's arbitrarily choose to eliminate y here. Um, to do that, we need to have a 15y in both cases. Well, 15y on, on one equation, negative 15y on the other. Well, to give us a negative 15y on the second equation, we'll need to multiply everything in the second equation by negative 5. The first equation, we'll need to multiply everything by 3. Make sure you multiply everything on both sides by the right numbers, not just the term that you're trying to eliminate. So, first equation. When you multiply 3 by all those terms, 3 times negative 2x gives us a negative 6x. 3 times 5y is 15y. 3 times negative 33 is negative 99. Now, on the second equation, negative 5 times a negative 7x is going to give us the positive 35x. Negative 5 times 3y is negative 15y. And negative 5 times negative 43 is going to give us 215. Now let's add those two equations together. Whoops. Well, negative 6 plus 35 is 29. So we'll get a 29x here. Negative 15y plus positive 15y is 0. And then negative 99 plus 215 is going to give us 116. Now let's divide both sides of the equation by 29. And 116 divided by 29 is 4. 
Now we need to go back up to one of the original equations, replace x with 4 to see what y is going to turn out to be. And I think I'm just going to re arbitrarily choose the second equation because really both of them look about the same amount of difficulty. So let's replace x with 4 and see what happens. So we'll take negative 7 times 4 plus 3 times y is equal to negative 43. Well, negative 7 times 4 is negative 28. Add 28 to both sides of the equation. That's going to give us that 3y is equal to negative 15 and then divide both sides of the equation by 3 and we get that y is negative 5. Now let's write our answer as an ordered pair. Always put x first and y second and we'll get the point 4, negative 5. And again, remember that you need to check these but we don't have time to do that here.